How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Do y'all know what this is? This is a pre rapala Wii Wart. So when Storm was an independent company and Rapala didn't own them, they had these wiggle warts and you can tell that you can tell it's a pre rapala because well, one, because of the seam. Um but I got this primed up and we are gonna be painting this Wii wart. This came in just a solid orange color. I'll I'll pop a picture up if I have one. And I painted it once when I was practicing and wasn't a huge fan so I'm gonna I'm gonna repaint it now that I have a little more experience, so I'll take you guys with me. Alright, I'm gonna start out with give it a base coat of this color called Light Apricot. Just gonna hit it with a bit of that. I really need like one of, one of those little stands that I can put everything on. Gosh, this paint, well one is cheap paint, but it's just been giving me such problems. It's been such a headache. And then I have issues because it's like, oh, Oh my gosh, like, just over, over reducing it, under reducing it, it's just been such a headache. So, bottom line, like, initially it shot out really well, but bottom line, I would not recommend that I'm gonna be getting some new ones if you want to if you want to support me by getting me new helping me get new airbrush paint that'd be pretty cool too so initially it works really well and then after a while it just like just does not want to shoot it's worth a darn I don't know if you can hear it, but it just sounds like crap like when it's shooting out too. Alright, I'm gonna clean this color out. That's about as good as it's gonna get. And it it looks okay. Like it doesn't it doesn't go on the smoothest. That's my biggest issue. Is it's not going on that smooth anymore. Alright, I'm gonna hit it with another coat of this just because I just reduced the bottle down even more. Just poured reducer into the bottle directly. There we go. It's going on a bit nicer now. Just 
how to reduce down the whole flipping bottle. Oh, there we go. I like that a ton better. It looks a ton better. Alright, hit it with that burnt sienna, which I guess is brown. Okay. And again. Just reduced the whole bottle. So far, I like how it's turning out. I'm gonna hit it with, I'm gonna dry that layer, and I'm gonna put another one on. I like how it's going. <laughs> over, over where I paint, like literally, the hair dryer and the airbrush both have like bigger, um, bigger connectors. So it's like, it's like gotta unplug one to plug in the other one. That's looking so good. I'm gonna dry this and then we're gonna hit it with them broad edge stripes. So here's how I'm gonna do the stripes. I'm gonna come up top and do three and then I'm gonna go to the side and get them connected. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, kind of. And I always like these turning out, try, trying to get them to turn out as like literally as best as I could. Okay, all right. This isn't going well. It's not as it's not as bad as I thought. But it's not as good as I would like. <laughs> the good thing is from that top, if you do the top stripe first, 
I'm sorry y'all can't see this very well. It's very hard to get all these angles right. But when you do the top one first, you can come in with your little stencil and line it up so that everything will be lined up great hopefully I need more hands and fingers or a better system for things first one and it looks okay and it looks okay I just gotta remind myself that I really haven't been painting for that long and airbrushing and so I can't be like I shouldn't be like too critical of myself A little it's a little off but I think I'm gonna come back over the top and uh, be reworking the, the top a little bit but so far it's not it's not too bad maybe if I come at this a little differently That that's kind of a little atrocious. Let me at least define that a little better. I need more hands. There we go. Came in there. You know what? It's not bad. It's, it's not, it's not that bad. It's going fine. I am too, I'm always too critical of myself. I put a lot of pressure on myself for some things. How far does that come down? Almost to, comes down almost to there. Alright, this side's going better because I've I've been learning from my little mistakes. Not a bad little crawl pattern. Okay. I am gonna just hit a stripe on the back. one kind of final stripe like this and then I think it just needed that I think it just needed that one more stripe I'm gonna come and get the back I'm gonna show you guys the finished product after I rework this a little bit all right, so I came across the back again and just kind of met those lines up, but here we go. And then I blacked out the eyes. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Here's the finished product though, got like, it's a really light bottom, very dark top. And I I'm pretty freaking stoked. I'm pretty freaking happy about how that turned out. That's so nice. Not the best. But it looks really good. I think it'll look really good with clear coat over it as well. But anyway, that's going to do it for the video. There we go. 
got it all painted and I'm super excited to be throwing this pretty soon.